Hi friends, today we're reading Toy Story 2. Hey Woody, ready to go to cowboy camp? Annie shouted, bursting into his bedroom. Woody was a cowboy doll. He was one of Andy's favorite toys. His other favorite was a space ranger named Buzz. Never tangle with the unstoppable duo of Woody and Buzz Lightyear, Andy cried, linking the toys' arms together. Suddenly there was a loud rip. Woody's shoulder had ripped open. Andy's mom suggested fixing Woody on the way to camp. But Andy shook his head. No, just leave him, he said. Andy handed the cowboy to his mom, who put the doll on a shelf. Sheriff Woody wouldn't be going to cowboy camp after all. A few days later, Andy's mom began to clean his room. She was having a yard sale and wanted to get rid of Andy's old toys. Andy's mom grabbed Wheezy the penguin and brought him into the yard. Woody couldn't let her give his friend away. Woody whistled for Andy's dog, Buster. He climbed onto Buster's back and the two raced outside to save the penguin. But Woody couldn't hold on with a broken arm. He fell off Buster and was picked up by a strange man. The man's name was Al. When no one was looking, he hid Woody in his coat. Then he hopped in his car and drove away. The other toys watched from the window. They had to save Woody. Al took Woody to his apartment. Suddenly, a packing crate burst open. Out popped a cowgirl named Jessie and a toy horse named Bullseye. Yeehaw! It's really you, Jessie shouted. Woody was confused. Why were the toys so happy to see him? Let's show him who he really is, said an old prospector doll named Pete. Jesse turned on an old TV show called Woody's Roundup. Woody could hardly believe his eyes. He was the star. Prospector Pete explained that the Roundup toys had become valuable collectibles. Now that Al had a Woody doll, he was selling the whole set to a museum in Japan. Meanwhile, back at Andy's house, Buzz had figured out that Al was the owner of the local toy store. The toys set out at once to rescue their friend. As the sun rose, they spotted Al's toy barn. It was on the other side of a busy road. The toys each picked up a traffic cone and dashed across the street. Inside the toy barn, Buzz found an amazing display of new Buzz Lightyear toys. Each one was wearing a super utility pack. As Buzz reached for the utility pack, a hand grabbed his wrist. It was a new Buzz Lightyear toy. The toy thought he had caught a rogue space ranger. He quickly tied Buzz to a box and placed him back on the shelf. Then the new Buzz ran off to join Andy's toys. Meanwhile, the other toys had found Al's office. Listening to him on the phone, they realized that Al was planning to sell Woody. As the toys climbed into Al's briefcase, Buzz broke free. He followed his friends, but Buzz was being followed too by the evil Emperor Zerg. Not far away, Woody's arm had been repaired. He looked brand new. He was ready to go home to Andy. I belonged to a little girl once, said Jessie sadly. She played with me every day until she grew up. Then she gave me away. Even the greatest kids outgrow their toys. Woody began to worry that Andy would forget about him too. Maybe it was better to go to the museum. Meanwhile, the new Buzz and Andy's toys had arrived at Al's apartment building. The new Buzz pulled the gate, the grate off an air vent for the toys to call through. Come on, he said, we've got no time to lose. When the toys reached the apartment, they were excited to see Woody. But Buzz grabbed, new Buzz grabbed Woody, Slinky, wrapped Jesse and Bullseye up in his coils and hand jumped on the prospector's box. Hold it right there, a voice said suddenly. It was the real Buzz. There's no time to explain. Come on, let Woody, let's go, the real Buzz said. But to his amazement, Woody refused. What if his shoulder broke again? Would Annie still want him? As the toys turned to leave, Woody watched a small smiling boy on the TV. It made him realize how much he missed Andy. Hey Buzz, wait, he shouted. He started to follow his friends but the prospector blocked the way. He had spent his whole life in a box and he was ready for the museum. At that moment, the toys heard footsteps. Al was coming. Al packed Woody and the other Roundup toys in a case and dashed out the door. We have to get Woody, Buzz shouted, but as they headed for the elevator, they heard an evil laugh. It's Zerg, gasped Rex. Buzz and the new Buzz bravely fought off Zerg. Panicked, Rex closed his eyes and turned away. Thwack! His tail knocked Zerg over. Rex had defeated Zerg. Al was getting away. Luckily, Mr. Potato had spotted a pizza truck nearby. The toys jumped in and set off for the airport. They found Al at the check-in desk. As his bag thumped onto the conveyor belt, 
The toys jumped on beside it. Thousands of boxes, bags, and suitcases swept past them, but Buzz kept his eye on Al's green suitcase. Buzz ran along the conveyor belt. Finally, he reached the case carrying Woody. But when he opened the bag, it was Prospector Pete who popped out. Pow! He hit Buzz. Buzz fought back. Soon he had tied the Prospector to a passing backpack. Meanwhile, Woody and Bullseye had managed to get out of Al's bag. But Jesse was still trapped inside. Woody jumped onto the plane. He searched the bags until he found Jesse. Come on, Jesse said. It's time to take you home. Just then, the plane started to move. They had to get off. Woody and Jesse found a hatch and crawled down to the plane's wheels. It was hard to stay on and Woody slipped. Luckily, Jesse grabbed his arm just in time. Woody's hat flew off, but it was caught by Buzz. He and Bullseye were riding alongside the plane. Woody looped his pole string around a bolt on the plane, then grabbed Jesse. He swung down under the plane and dropped onto Bullseye's back. Woody smiled and looked at his friends. Let's go home, he said. A few days later, Andy arrived home from cowboy camp. When he saw the new toys on his bed, he was thrilled, but he was even happier to see Woody. He couldn't wait to play with all his cowboy toys. Woody and Jesse smiled at each other. They knew they were finally back where they belonged. What a wonderful story. Make sure you like and subscribe for more read aloud fun. Have a great day.